हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अ लो वेरिएबल परपोशन दिस इज शॉर्ट टाइम पीरियड लो एंड शॉर्ट टाइम पीरियड वी कैन नॉट चेंज अवर फिक्सड फैक्टर्स लाइक मशीन्स प्लांट एंड लैंड बिकॉज फॉर चेंजिंग दिस फैक्टर वी नीड मोर टाइम एंड एफर्ट्स बट एट शॉर्ट टाइम पीरियड वी कैन चेंज अवर वेरिएबल फैक्टर्स लाइक लेबर एंड रॉ मटेरियल एज वी नो वैन वी डोंट हैव सो मच टाइम वी कैन ईजिली हायर लेबर एंड बाय रॉ मटेरियल इन दिस लो वी अज्यूम दैट अवर फिक्स फैक्टर इज लैंड विच वी कैन नॉट चेंज एंड अवर वेरिएबल फैक्टर इज लेबर विच वी कैन चेंज एंड दिस लो बेसिकली स्टेट दैट इफ वी आर इंप्लॉइंग मोर एंड मोर यूनिट ऑफ लेबर ऑन फिक्स अमाउंट ऑफ लैंड देन हाउ इट विल इफेक्ट अवर प्रोडक्शन नाउ वी क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड दिस लो विद द हेल्प ऑफ वन एग्जाम्पल सपोज वी हैव टेन हेक्टर फिक्स लैंड फॉर डूइंग फार्मिंग initially we need labor for working in this land so we employed some laborers uh, some are working in planting some are working in harvesting some are operating equipment as a result our production increase at very higher speed or we can say that initially our production increase at increasing rate as we know our land is fixed we cannot change our land now in this land there is not so much requirement of laborers as it was was earlier but we again employed some laborers some laborers who increase in planting some labor who increase in harvesting some laborers who increase in operating equipment as a result no doubt our production increase but speed of increasing production fall means our production is increasing at diminishing rate earlier our production increasing at increasing rate but now our production is increasing at diminishing rate because earlier there had a so much requirement of people but now in this land, and there is not so much requirement of people but we still hire a lot of employees as a result our production is increasing but at diminishing rate now in third stage our land has become congested there is no requirement of single person but we again hire some employees it will negatively impact on our production because we are hiring so many people but there is no work for them they are disturbing other they are talking to each other they are argumenting each other as a result instead of increasing our production is reducing so we can say that it will negatively impact on our production so we can say that according to low variable proportion if we are employing more and more labor on fixed amount of land then initially our production is increase at increasing rate after that diminishing rate and finally it will start reducing according to low variable proportion if we are employing more and more labor on fixed amount of land then initially initially our production increase at increasing rate then at decreasing rate and finally it will start reducing now we will see table of this law here in first column we have land and land is our fixed factor we cannot change our land that's why our land will be constant you can see here our land is constant in second column we have labor and labor is variable factor we can change our labor that's why you can see we are changing our labor in third column we have total product total product means our total output how much we are producing in next column we have average product average product basically measure how much each labor produces on average average product basically measure how much each labor produces on average and formula of calculating average product is tp over l here tp is total product l is number of labor you can see in first case number of labor is 1 and tp is 20 20 divided by 1 is equal to 20 so our average product is 20 in second case you can see number of labor is 2 and tp is 50 50 divided by 2 is equal to 25 so in second case our average product is 25 in third case our tp is 90 and number of labor is 3 90 divided by 3 is equal to 30 so our average product is 30 similar you can calculate average product for other units in last column we have marginal product marginal product basically tell us how much our total product change when we employed one more labor marginal product basically tell us how much our total product change when we employed one more labor you can see 
when one labor is working total product is 20 when two labor is working total product is 50 as we increase our labor from 1 to 2 means as we employed one more labor our total product increase from 20 to 50 50 minus 20 this 30 increase in product is called our marginal product similar we can can calculate for other unit when we increase our labor from 2 to 3 when when we increase one more labor our total product increase from 50 to 90 90 minus 50 is equal to 40 this 40 increase in total product when we employed one more labor is called our marginal product same way we will calculate for other unit when we increase our labor from 3 to 4 our total product increase from 90 to 120 120 minus 90 is equal to 30 this 30 increase in total product when we add one more labor is called our marginal product same way we will calculate marginal product for other units now we will see stages of this law with the help of this table and diagram uh, this is same table as we earlier discussed and this law basically divided into three stages from one to fourth labor have a first stage from five to seventh labor have a second stage and from eighth labor third stage will start so firstly we are going to talk about first stage for knowing first stage you need to remember about three things first thing is that during first stage initially our tp will increase at increasing rate after that it increase at diminishing rate you can see here initially our tp increase from 20 to 50 it increase by 30 then our tp increase from 50 to 90 it increase by 40 then our tp increase from 90 to 120 it increase by 30 you can see here initially our tp increase by 30 to 40 means tp is increasing at increasing rate after that tp is increased by 40 to 30 means tp is increasing at diminishing rate so we can say that during first stage initially tp is increasing at increasing rate after that it increasing at diminishing rate second thing you need to remember about first stage is that during first stage our mp will more than ap you can see mp is 30 ap is 25 mp is 40 ap is 30 means in total our mp will more than ap during first stage and last thing you need to know about first stage is that our first stage will end when our MP become equal to AP. You can see here, here MP is 30 and AP also 30. So here our first stage is ended. And now we will see our first stage with the help of this diagram. In this diagram on X axis we have variable factor or we can say the X axis we have labor. And Y axis we have output. This TP black curve represent our total product this blue curve ap represent our average product this red curve mp represent our marginal product this oq this part represent our first stage this part oq you can see here in first stage from o to c point this part represent our tp is increasing at increasing rate after that from c to k point our tp is increasing at diminishing rate second thing you can see here at first stage our mp is more than ap this this red is our MP curve. This blue is our AP curve. You can see MP curve is above from AP curve which shows MP is more than AP. At this E point you can see MP become equal to AP. So here our first stage is ended. Now we are going to talk about second stage. For knowing second stage you need to remember few things. First thing is that initially in second stage our TP increase at diminishing rate initially in second stage our tp increase at diminishing rate you can see here from fifth labor our second stage start you can see our tp increase from 120 to 140 it increased by 20 unit then our tp increase from 140 to 150 it increased by 10 you can see here our tp is increasing at diminishing rate firstly it increased by 20 that it increased by 10 means our tp is increasing at diminishing rate so we can say initially at second stage our tp increase at diminishing rate second thing you need to remember at the end of second stage our tp will become maximum and mp will become zero you can see here at seventh unit our second stage will end here you can see our tp 
is 150 and sixth unit our tp also 150 our tp is not increasing it become maximum and here you can see our mp is zero and last thing you need to remember about second stage is that during second stage our ap will more than mp you can see this is our ap and this is our mp ap is more than mp now we will see second stage with the help of this diagram we have second stage between acute oq to q1 this part represent our second stage or we can this kb part represent our second stage this part here you can see initially from k to b point our tp is increasing at diminishing rate at b point here our second stage is ended our tp become maximum and below you can see here when tp become maximum below to this diagram you can see our mp become zero and last thing you can see here during for second stage our ap is more than mp you can this blue is our ap curve this red is our mp curve or ap is uh, above from uh, mp so we can say that our ap is more than mp now we are going to talk about third stage during third stage our tp start reducing during third stage our tp start reducing you can see here from eighth labor our third stage will start here our tp reduce from 150 to 140 140 minus 150 is equal to minus 10 this minus 10 is our marginal product so we can say that during third stage our tp start reducing and our marginal product become negative now we will see third stage with the help of this diagram our third stage start from this b point this part represent our third stage you can see after b point our tp is continuous reducing and you can see here below our m marginal product is negative so we can say during third stage our tp is reducing and our marginal product become negative this is all about low variable proportion i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care